Welcome back to the Small Business Show. We're going to actually talk with somebody who we've known for quite a few years, and I'd like to, to introduce you to Dorothy Sending from Elite Training Facility. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, you look adorable, by oh, the sure. way. <laughs> <laughs> it's the lighting. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Maybe it's maybe it's the personalities uh, too, right? We, so we, we always make people smile. I guess uh, we really wanted you on the show this season because um, I guess. It's a gym, a training facility um, that you operate with your mm -hmm. husband, but you concentrate more on the ergonomics, the massage, and stuff like that, don't you? And it's very, very important in business today. To yes, it's a, um, definitely a good team that we made, the two of us. Um, I am a registered massage therapy therapist, sorry. Um, so it really does go hand in hand with our fitness facility. And overall, we do focus more on health and fitness. We're not really the gym where people go to throw heavy weights around and seem all, you know, That's what he made macho. me do when I was <laughs> <laughs> Not throw them, he'll make you pick them up. But <laughs> Why is it important for business, business owners, mm -hmm. big or small, to actually know about being healthy and the ergonomics of, you know, not slouching, putting your shoulders mm -hmm. back, having the right desk and everything, and then coming to you for the massage. Why is that important? There are so many benefits to massage therapy. Um, I mean, the physical part of it, as you mentioned, just the um, posture and having that, uh, you know, that uh, you proper strength. <laughs> yeah. um, so massage therapy helps, especially if you, um, you know, do sit at a desk or a computer all day long. Yeah. It helps to open everything back up and helps you breathe. Um, we forget not just that the pain that it causes, but when you slouch over all day long like that, your uh, lungs actually get squished and we don't breathe properly. <gasps> and there I are so people, many other problems that come along with that. Well, I, I get, just on that point, I don't think a lot of people realize some of the problems they have day to day mm -hmm. are a result of what you just talked about. Yes, yes, people, you, well, you get so busy, especially as business owners, you just, you're focused on a million things and you sometimes forget about it's yourself. It's important for us, first of all, to know that we have to have the right desk, a footstool, um, the computer's gotta be in the right mm -hmm. place because of all the repetitive problems. Absolutely. How do we know though when we need to come to you or should we be coming to you on a regular basis? The best way to do it is to book it as a regular appointment. Um, you know, I say if you can come in once a month, it'll it'll help you overall with uh, prevention as opposed to prevention. trying to fix the problem. So maintenance and prevention, if your body knows, you know, once a month you're coming for that treatment and your body knows, okay, this is what I'm supposed to feel like, it will with time adjust on its own as well. And you'll actually feel it when you're sitting at that desk, it'll feel uncomfortable when you're slouch over. You catch yourself because your body will be like, hey, that's not where I'm supposed to be. Is so. it like when Steve takes his car in for like, uh, what do you call it? The mechanic to check. Absolutely. Yeah. If you never changed your yeah. oil in your car, yeah. it would probably <laughs> not function <laughs> properly. I never do anything yeah. like that, but you know, I'm yeah. sure somebody does it for and me. And just like, if you want to keep the car analogy, just like once in a while, I take your car in, not just for the fixing, but also to get it cleaned up and and uh, looking shiny. We, we Maybe a little too often. Yeah. yeah. And that's the same thing with uh, with ourselves. A lot of times when you have that regular appointment booked for massage, even if physically everything's okay, that one hour where you can just relax and forget about everything else out there to get rid of that daily stress, yes. <laughs> whether, you're, whether it's from business or having kids or doing all the other things that you do all day long, to have that one hour as an adult oh. is kind of a important. luxury. <laughs> that, that's so important. I think the key there yeah. is how do people deal with stress? Yeah. And people don't yeah. in most deal mm -hmm. with stress or know how to deal with stress. So I think that's what I like about your combination with, with your husband is that yeah. he's more of the personal trainer yes. side of it, but you're more of the rest of the yeah. holistic mm -hmm. side of it and it's the body amazing. side of it and, and help to deal with yeah. that stress and, and those aches and pains in Definitely. your body too. Because I think our society is changing a little more because not everybody's always sitting at a desk anymore. No, We've got all these true. devices in front of our Which, face yeah, and, and totally changes the whole yeah. dynamic. Yeah, yeah there's, I mean, I have, um, great mix of clients and I would say I have just as many clients that you know work at a factory and are on their feet all day long and that's a whole different yeah. pain yeah, that they yeah. go through and then yes we do have people that are still in the computers and even some of my younger clients that are attached to their 
mobile devices mm -hmm. all the time. You'd be amazed what it does to your shoulders and your neck when you're like this the How whole time. Exactly, these? Yeah. People who've got a business where they have to mm -hmm. stand up a lot, I say, mm -hmm. do, do you help people with leg and feet Absolutely. problems? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I've had so many clients that when I ask them if they are okay with me treating their lower legs and feet and they're like, oh, I've never had that done before. I'm like, well, let's try it and see where it goes. And they're like, oh my God. Because it is, you forget. That's another, you just forget about your feet. They're just kind of there. But there are so many muscles in your feet, and you're on them all the time. Yeah, so that's a good point. to get, yeah, even just a few minutes, I always tell them just, you know, just a couple minutes on your feet, you're going to feel like a new person, and it makes a big difference. Absolutely. You know, and that just changes their whole focus and their whole spirit and their mm -hmm. whole moving forward, even not only just a day, but and also regularly climbing back and, mm -hmm. and getting that tune up, if you want, for yeah, lack of it a is. better term. It's right? exactly what it, it is. It changes their mindset, right? And I think it helps, again, coming back to the fact, helps people deal with things that may not even know mm -hmm. what's causing so it. So why did you get into business? Um, was it because the client started the, the um, gym? You well, we started it together, but uh, we, I guess, uh, we started thinking about it quite a few years before we actually um, opened the facility. Um, Clint has been a fitness guy his whole life, mm -hmm. but he didn't always uh, work in the fitness industry. He started part-time teaching classes at a gym. So was it was it you, it was your passion though to do the massage therapy? So if somebody out there is listening to you saying how wonderful it is, is it easy to to become a massage therapist? Do you have to go to school? School, yeah, it's a two-year course. Um, it is not an easy course at all. There's no. uh, a lot of science, a lot of uh, pathologies and um, so much more than just uh, the physical part okay. of the massage. Uh, here in Ontario, massage therapy is a regulated field, so oh, we're under good. the same umbrella as, you know, nurses and doctors. Absolutely and important for people to know. Yes, that. so it is It is definitely a health care thing. It's not just that, you know, oh, spa day luxury. It is health care. So I guess they would know that they wouldn't be actually, you know, making lots of money immediately if money is the prime thing to start a business they have to do all the stuff for two years in which case they've got to be really passionate absolutely. about wanting to do it. Absolutely, absolutely. I spent uh, a lot of time studying and just it was it was insane. I mean even uh, my husband watching me he was like I don't know how you do it and that's just so much knowledge. You, that you enjoy gotta, it though, you're very happy. I love it. I love but what I do is the best, absolutely. That, that, yes. That's the thing. You're always glowing. You always have yeah. a yeah. really yes. strong yeah. message that it just gravitates. People mm -hmm. come and, and, and want to learn more. Because yeah, you're I so mean, vocal. as much as uh, Clint uh, is the personal trainer and the fitness instructor, um, and I do more the relaxing part and the fixing part, <laughs> uh, we do both have the same passion for health and fitness overall. I mean, nutrition is a big part of what we do. We educate people. That's true. We, uh, again, it's not just what we do in the facility because there's that one hour that you come to see us, whether it's a one hour for your fitness or mm -hmm. for the massage, but there are 23 three other hours in every day that you have to be out there. So it's the education part mm. too. We I'm really help happy mm -hmm. that we focus on health and wellness today mm -hmm. because basically business owners don't know what they don't know. So I guess <laughs> by knowing about you... Or taking the time. Yeah. I mean, I can say I'm guilty in that category uh -huh. too, yeah. is taking the time and actually making a part yeah. of your schedule. Too busy. Just, <laughs> yeah, yeah well that's, and that's what we always say, too busy for this, too busy for that. but. You just schedule it, just make it, whether it's the fitness part, you know, like you said, you make that appointment, you go, you keep it, and it's and it's there. You put it in your schedule just like any other meeting. And the meeting. prevention you mentioned, we Absolutely. can't work with our clients, we can't work on our business mm -hmm. if we haven't prevented a lot of these things happening. And or even more productive in what we do. Absolutely. Yeah. That's, that's a good that's, word. That's yeah. Productive. Even yeah. And again, even if um, I mentioned earlier about just get rid of, getting rid of that stress, you know, you might be focused so hard on something that you can't even think about it anymore because you're going crazy thinking the about it. Hot stones help me. Hot stones. Uh, stone no, massage. I haven't had the hot stones. Oh, very yeah. good. Hot stone massage is distressing. Uh, very well. distressing. It's uh, you just. Yeah, I usually walk out, most people walk out of there yeah, floating. Yeah, so. You should do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the biggest difference between, I think, uh, Clint's clients and mine is that when Clint's clients leave him, they're usually cursing him. <laughs> when they you, leave me, I usually, get a, I, usually get a, I usually get a hug and, you know, they're very happy. Actually, <laughs> I felt like a new woman every time I left Clint, you yeah. know? Maybe Good. later in the day I didn't feel like <laughs> uh, No, I'm very much into health and wellness and so is Steve and this is why we wanted you on the show, Thank really. You. Dorothy, you've been really 
quick, goes quickly, yeah. but we really appreciate you coming on the show, Dorothy Sinden so from much. Elite Training Facility. <laughs> Thanks for coming, and we really learned a lot in a Thank short you. time together. And we'll be right back on the Small Business Show.